Though your legs ache and your stomach burns with hunger, you cannot help but feel a vague sense of anticipation as you descend into the black tunnels. For the first time in a very long time, you feel as if you have direction, purpose. You are pulled from your thoughts as you see shadows dancing on the walls up ahead in the tunnel. A fire. Ugh. Is it just me or does it smell rotten in here? I'm afraid you're right. Even though the more pressing question should be, why are there lit candles in a place that hasn't been open for millennia? But are you certain that this is the path to Mullendir? Absolutely. Something lives down here. The only question is, what? I guess we'll find out. Hmm? Uh, alright, why not? Got it. What? Strange creatures. Run! By the... Oh! I suppose we found the source of that smell. Indeed. But who or what in the world did this? Will do. That way? Places. What is that thing? Looks like a golem to me. Maybe the Shapers created it? Huh. Huh. Interesting. Human. Huh. So we aren't the first to enter these tunnels. But he's mummified. He might have been here for thousands of years. A Hibernian, maybe. It's hard to tell, but that might be tattoos on his forehead. You killing God King Scions! You! Ugh! You smell unclean! Filthy! Strange creatures you are! Where I come from? Who are? We aren't your enemy. Your people attacked us first. Yes, yes, Scions did attack you because Scions were scared! God King wants you no harm! God King is good person, protects people from the great evil in dark beyond. But to protect, God King needs power. And for power, needs Scion flesh. Flesh is power. Raw and strong. What is this power you're talking about? Magic! Old magic. Learn from great, great, great grandfather. Old God King. But to use, God King needs flesh. Fresh flesh of Scion on 13th day. Hmm. He might be talking about a primitive form of necromancy. And it requires him to eat his people to use it. Who knows? We all know how fond these priests of Nor are of their shady rituals. Whatever. I'm more interested in this dark beyond. Dark beyond? But why? We call it Mullendir, and we are here to find it. But... you will die! We don't have much of a choice. Can you help us get past this gate? I... uh... God King does not like. But God King understands. Yes, he will help. But you will help God King first. What do you want? It's simple. Group of treacherous Scions tried to steal my throne. You kill Scions for God King. 
Bring him their flesh as proof. God King shows you way through door. Understood? God King will be here. Then we need to take care of them. Sure. Am I the only one who just saw that? I'm afraid not. It must have been another goblin. Yeah, and a pretty damn big one. Hmm, looks pretty narrow. I don't think we'll fit through there. Though maybe... Wait, do you hear that? Grunting. Maybe the goblin built a workshop behind that wall. Hmm. Maybe we could lure it out by throwing some meat at it? Macabre, I know, but if it gets the job done... Now would you look at that. Good. We best get some cover now. Let's see if this works. Ugh, meat! Tasty, tasty food for power! It's over. All right. God King too strong. God King too cruel. Yeah. 
Yes. I think that was it. The rebels are dead. They didn't look much like rebels to me. They were terrified. I agree. But they didn't leave us much of a choice. We should head back to the God King. Yeah, sure. We should get moving. <laughs> Blasted armor. That's the way? Uh-huh. Let's see. I think I found your rebels. They attacked me. You did? Show him. Show God King their flesh. Um, sure. Here. Yes, yes. Strange flesh people speak truth. It's them. You honest. You loyal. God King will answer your questions. Do you live down here? Down here? God King does not understand. There is only here. Here and the dark beyond. Hmm. Tell me more about that power. What is it? Magic! Old magic. Learned from great, great, great grandfather. Old God King. But to use, God King needs flesh. Fresh flesh of Scion on 13th day. Hmm. He might be talking about a primitive form of necromancy. And it requires him to eat his people to use it. Who knows? We all know how fond these priests of Nor are of their shady rituals. So, you eat your own people? To protect! To protect from dark beyond! God King has to. If not, he will lose power. What do you protect your people from? Monsters? From horror, from pain. But strange flesh people would not understand. Strange flesh people have not seen it. Seen what? You're not making sense. Horrors, unspeakable evil, mist and fangs and darkness bred from lost city. Fourteenth day, it comes and takes Zion's children, men, women, eats them, slaughters them. And only power can drive it back. And for power, God King needs flesh. Sad, sad cycle of pain. Hmm. Maybe he's talking about a spectral abomination, a kind of ghost. I've read about these in some writings on Shaper Ruins. Wait. You... God King has favor to ask. Favor may sound strange, but God King asks strange flesh people to listen. What? God King wants flesh from outside world. If strange flesh people find goblin flesh in dark beyond and outside world, can they bring it to God King? God King sad for eating own scions. God King needs other way to keep power. Well, we'll see what we can do. Thank you. Strange flesh people, good people. God King wishes they don't die. I think we'll be off now. Um, farewell. Huh? Who is this? My strange flesh friends. Did they bring more meat? Ah, yes, they did! Mmm, good flesh, but not best. We'll feed power, but not for long. God King thanks. Here, take! Found in tunnels, but God King don't need. Now go! Find more meat for God King, more meat for power! God King will give treasure. And Who is this? My strange flesh friends! 
Did they bring more meat? Ah, yes, they did. Hmm. City goblins, is it not? God King likes. Surely yes, but good for power. God King thanks. God King very happy. Strange flesh people friends. Again, God King has treasure. Bring him more for final treasure. Corporal? Yes? What do strange flesh people want? I think we'll be off now. Um, farewell. Huh? Yes? What do strange flesh people- I think we'll be off now. Huh? Is that my imagination? Or did that thing just talk to me? I'm afraid so. You err. Speak the words. Uh, yes? Understood. Yes? What do strange flesh people want? Anyway, it's time for you to keep your end of the bargain. How do we get through this door? What are the words? Are strange flesh people certain? They will die. Please, just tell us the words. God King understands. The words are... Kualan Zugaruge. Speak words to stone men and door will open. Hmm. Shaper language. I think we'll be off now. Um, farewell. Uh huh? Hmm? Hmm. Let me see. Speak the words. Kualan Zagar Uge. You may pass. It worked. Huh. Let's find out what he was guarding, shall we? Nihal's hammer. This is... Beautiful. I won't argue with that. Do you feel that? Wind. We're getting close to the exit. Many tales have been told about Mulandir, the lost city of the Shapers. 
While some scholars go so far as to doubt its very existence, others claim that it was a utopia, an unconquerable city in a valley of never-ending summer. However, they all agree on one thing. Whoever finds it will go down in history. By knee, Half. We've... We found it. This is amazing. I agree. Now where could we find clues about the bloodburn? Iskram? Huh? Did you say something? I said where should we start searching for clues? We need to find out more about the song. Ah, uh, uh, the song. Yes, of course. Do you think we could rest for a moment first, though? I'd like to take some sketches of this place. Well, how about we go back to Everlight and get some charcoal first? It's not as if we're in a hurry. <laughs> You're mean. <sighs> All right. I guess you have a point. The only problem is, deciphering the shape or tongue isn't an easy task. We can't just walk in here and expect to find the answers we're looking for. Then what do you suggest? I... <clears throat> I assume the Nexus would be the best place to start. The heart of the city. The Nexus? Long story. In short, it's every Shaper City's core. It's where they drew the energy for their constructions from, where they created their devices, and, and where they stored their knowledge. All right then. Let's go. What do we need? I'm sorry, but we don't understand. We. Kwaslan. Za. um. Zaladar? Punara Yuganza. Zawayetu Kwanlar. Zanju. Domyan Kesnai. Zanladar? You speak their tongue? A bit. I've never used it in an actual conversation, though. I still can't believe this is happening. We're, we're talking to a living shaper. So, what did he say? I... I don't think he was talking to us. He's not even entirely aware of our presence. I think he's gone completely insane. Interesting. Hmm. Well, he doesn't seem a threat. I suggest we keep on exploring first and maybe come back to him later. There's not much we can do for him now. Feels strange to do that, but I guess you're right. We need to find that Nexus first. Lead the way, Tahar. Undead. Lots of them. How do they get here? They could be shapers, couldn't they? Sounds like a plan. Another ghost. <sighs> you got it. Sure. All oh, right, undead. here goes nothing. Hmm? Nihal's hammer. Isn't this incredible? The buildings are almost still intact. Hard to believe nobody ever found this place before. Right in the middle of Eskender. Now would you look at that? Mm. Sure.
More Walking fighting. Corpses. Does this Take never end? Down. Fine. You'll have to wait. Sounds like a plan. Let's see. Ah, yeah. Do you see that overgrown building? That's the Nexus. Nehalf's hammer. It looks just like on the stone carvings. Seems to be protected by some kind of barrier, though. How do we get past? Excellent question. I doubt we can banish that barrier by force. Maybe... Oh, yeah. The ghost. He might know something. Worth a try, I suppose. Let's head back. Understood. Got it. There. Another ghost. We'll do enough. Oh, Let's do this. Well then. Iskram, can you ask him about the barrier? Yes. <clears throat> Vorzan Devlar Zawa Yetu Zvan Yaras? What? Van Drax Vorzan uh, Devlar Punara Yuganza Zawa Yetu Kanlar Zans Vu Namyan Kesnai Devlar Oh. I see. So? It's complicated, but I think I understand now. He's part of a defense mechanism, so to speak. His soul is bound to the city in order to protect it. I think he wants to be freed. Hmm. And if we free him, will that banish the barrier? Well, the problem is he's not alone. There are still three more of his kind here in Mullendir, and unless we free them all, it won't get us any closer to the Nexus. Then we need to find them all. How do we free them? Well, that's the thing. I might have misunderstood, but I think we need to fight and, well, kill him. It's the only way. Blazes, this is so ironic. Here we are, the first sentient beings to walk this city in millennia, and now... <sighs> well... If we want to enter the Nexus, I doubt we have a choice. Also, they don't exactly seem too happy here. I know I wouldn't if I'd been roaming a deserted city as living dead for millennia. I know. It's what they want. Then let's get this over with. Zalam Kar! Just give the word. Here we go. 
Let's see what he has on him. Oh, a shard. I... Wait. Tahar, that rune Lacan gave you, could you show it to me? Sure. Fascinating. They look alike. How is that possible? Good question. I suggest we take a closer look at it later in the Nexus. Now come. I'd like to get this pointless butchering over with as soon as possible. This way, right? Get ready! <sighs> that way? Sure. Whatever is necessary. Godstone. Imprint our rune on the Godstone. That might sever the connection. Yes? Would you look at that? It worked. <sighs> I was half expecting the city to blow up in our faces. Now... Wait. Do you hear that? Niehaus hammer. <laughs> Understood. Got it. Danger up ahead! I'll keep you shielded! They will fall. Don't move! Yes. Is this... 
necessary. Please. Tiara's breath. What in blazes was that? A steel guardian, it must have been. They were, are, one of the many creatures the Shapers created to keep their cities safe. Yeah, a giant walking armor with a bloody spiked club sure helped to ease their citizens' minds. Well, it's dead now, and the path is clear. Let's find out what's behind that door. Hmm, Nexus or not, there's definitely an impressive energy radiating from behind that door. Kind of unsettling, to be honest. So, Tahar, do you want to go in? Yes, just stay wary. We have no idea what to expect. The stone doors fall shut behind you as you step through the overgrown arch, and you are met by an almost eerie silence. Yet you immediately feel a presence, a power long forgotten, waiting for someone or something to wake it from its slumber. The Nexus must be nearby. Incredible. So this is the Nexus? The upper levels. We'll need to go further down to find the heart. Come. Yes. Whatever is necessary. That thing is huge. Understood. Uh, all right, why not? Sounds like a plan. Mm. Sure. A golem. Don't let down your guard. Don't move! 
that way? Blasted armor. I'll take a look. Something you need? Got it. Will do. Got it. Huh. Interesting. To this day, the Shaper's magical and technological prowess remains unrivaled. One thing is clear. None of their marvels would have been possible without an incredible amount of magical energy. According to Iskrim, this is it. The heart of the Nexus. The source of the Shaper's power. Well, blow me down with a feather. And here I thought this couldn't get any more impressive. Then I'm guessing we got lucky? This is the Nexus? Yes. We found Mullendir's heart. So... As I said already to Har, if we're to find out anything about the blood burn in this city, it'll be here. Do you see that massive pillar in the center? That's where the Shapers drew their energy from. They used it to communicate, to store knowledge, to power the mechanisms in their city, and to build some of their most magnificent creations. What did they create? Just creatures? Well, obviously just a few very select items, such as, I suppose, the runes we found. Only the most skilled of their craftsmen were allowed to work on that altar you see over there. Being Zaklar, a runesmith, was one of the most respected positions in Shaper society, and only those of the priest caste were even considered. I'm guessing that whatever miracle allowed them to create these ghost watchers outside was also manufactured here. Huh. And where does that energy they channel in here come from? What is it? Well, that's one of the great Shaper mysteries. There's many theories and few facts, but the most likely one is that it draws from some kind of world essence, the same we mages use to cast magic. If something like that exists, why have I never heard about it before? As I said, it's just one of many theories. I might be completely mistaken. So this is also some kind of archive? Well, not in the traditional sense. I doubt you'll find a lot of books here. Did you just say they use this place to communicate? Yes. Apparently, some Shapers were able to communicate with each other by thought alone. I've heard about that. But what does this Nexus have to do with it? Well, their telepathy wasn't an innate skill. It was something the higher castes learned through somehow joining their minds to that pillar. They were connected. Hmm. I wouldn't want someone to be able to read my thoughts. Well, I don't think joining oneself to that pillar meant your mind was an open book. The mechanics were probably a bit more complex. Nihov's hammer. Do you feel that? Energy. Seems there's still some left. Yeah. And what's that? Huh. Looks like some kind of... anvil? Could that be where the Shapers forged their creations? Very likely so, yes. Hmm. We... Wait. How about a little experiment? That strange rune Lacane gave you. Could I, uh, borrow it for a moment? What for? As I said, a little experiment. These shards we found on the ghosts outside. 
I think I might be able to combine them with our rune. All right, go ahead. Thank you. Huh. Well, that's interesting. What? The runes. They look alike. So, Lacane gave us a Shaper rune? Might be, yeah. He seemed to think it was a gift from Aenir. Huh. Interesting. Well, I personally don't believe in Aenir handing out gifts to his followers, but as you can tell by the godstones all over the city, he played a role in the Shaper's faith too. So, technically, it could be both a Shaper rune and a gift from the Allfather. Hmm. And you're still sure you want to do this? I am. It may take a while, so I suggest you take a look around in the meantime. What's that? Hmm. Looks like a map of Fiara. A very old one. Can that help us somehow? I think so, yes. You see those markings? Glyphs. They look like someone carved them into the stone. Hmm. Can you make out what they say? I've been trying, but... Yes. Yes, that's it! Over here, quickly! Iskram? Ah, there you are. I was right, it worked. Look! I don't see anything. Just take a look. Here, Tar. I... Whoa! Whoa! What the heck just happened? What did you do? I don't know. The room. It... It must have reacted to you somehow, Tahar. Yes, but why? What did you do to it? I joined it with the shards we found on the Ghost Watchers. I'm guessing that caused some kind of magical reaction when you, as the rune owner, touched it. So we're bound to the city now? No, of course not. But I think the rune got stronger. Still, I'll have to do more research on this. I can't help but feeling that these runes are an ocean and we've merely touched the surface. Let's just hope there isn't a monster on the bottom. Anyway, what now? We still haven't learned anything new about the Bloodburn or the song. That's right, we haven't. But while I was working on the rune, a thought occurred to me. Remember how I told you that some of the higher caste shapers were able to communicate by thought alone, by telepathy? Frankly, I believe that's exactly what the song is. Telepathy. You mean, we're hearing the thoughts of a Shaper? The Shapers are extinct, so no. But it might be someone else using Shaper magic or, or, or sort of mental echo. The memories of the dead. I'm not sure what you mean by a mental echo. Well, the Shapers left all kinds of traces, didn't they? And those specters we fought on the surface are proof that their magic is still prevalent. Also, we know they use telepathy to communicate, so who knows? Maybe this song is just a lost, forgotten thought that somehow made it through the millennia. Hmm. That's almost poetic. The song is telepathy? You mean, what we are hearing? Isn't an actual sound, but a thought translated by your mind, yes. That explains why not everybody hears it, doesn't it? Why do we, then? Probably because of our magical gifts. It makes sense, doesn't it? So, somebody is talking in our heads? That's bizarre. Be that as it may, how does that get us closer to finding a cure for the Bloodburn? Because it tells us what has to be done next. Reactivate the Nexus. Why? Because it might allow us to do the same thing that the Shapers did. Join our minds to that pillar. We could connect to the collective subconscious of an extinct race. Which then again could help us understand the song and its origin. That sounds dangerous. Well, I can't argue with that, but then again, we're on a dangerous mission. And even if connecting our minds doesn't help us with the blood burn, think of what we could learn. That's another story, but Iskrim is right to Har. This Nexus place looks like the best lead we have right now. Hmm. How do we reactivate it, though? Good question. But I believe those two pedestals have something to do with it. I'm pretty sure they're what used to be conjuring the energy of this place. And they're empty. So we need to find whatever was in there, don't we? A power source. Yeah. The only question is, how? Hmm. I think I have an idea. Let's get back to that map. I think Iskrim should take a look at it. Here we go. What do you make of this, Iskrim? 
A map of old Fiara. By Nehalf, this is... this is incredible. Yes, but I was talking about those markings. They look as though they were added manually, don't they? I've started translating them already, but I'm stuck. Can you take a shot? Let me see. Saganar Zvuladun. Hmm. Stones of... Wait. You're right. The stones of the essence and their location. But why would someone hide the stones and then mark their location? Who says someone hid them? Maybe they were just brought somewhere else. It's common knowledge that the last years of the Shapers were chaotic, and they might have had a good reason to abandon this Nexus. Then maybe it's not a good idea to bring them back, don't you think? Well, the thing is, without the stones, we're stuck. We need this place up and running to understand the song. Even if my theory about it being telepathy is wrong, without power, we can't access the Archive neither. Then we need to find them. Absolutely. And I suggest we start right away. We- Hold your horses, we're not getting these stones anytime soon. Why? Because if that map is anywhere near accurate, one of those stones is located in what's now Aeonir's Blade. No point going in there without an army. The Iron Falcons. Right. Iron Falcons? You don't know. The Iron Falcons are an order that is protecting the tomb of Foil Dark. They're fighting the world's end, so to speak. What about the other marking, Iria? Maybe... Hold on. The Field Darg? The Ancient Evil? Yeah, them. According to the lore, the Guardians locked them in this tomb. But the seal has gotten weaker as time went by, so for over 800 years the Iron Falcons have been protecting it. I'm surprised you know so little of your own country's lore, Tahar. Well, my father was never interested in old myths. The Field Darg aren't a myth, not at all. If it weren't for the Falcons, Fiara would be history by now. That's not to say they're a likable bunch. Word has it that they're fanatically religious, self-righteous pricks. But I guess living in the desert with only skeletons to keep you company does that to you. What about the other marking? That one's even worse. This... land where the marking points to doesn't even exist anymore. It's right in the Black Sea. Damn it, you're right. But... hmm. Huh, that doesn't necessarily mean that this island doesn't exist anymore, does it? Maybe the cartographers of our era simply haven't discovered it yet. We could build a ship, right? Sail there and find out. Yeah, maybe. But again, for that we need support. Someone who can provide us with influence, money, and at least some troops against whatever we'll face there. Not to mention the fact, Tahar, that your former general has probably already sent his dogs on us. Ideas? Huh. What about that village mayor, Clara Farlin? Didn't she tell us something about certain friends she has? True. And there was the shapeshifter. Yeah, though I still don't think this is a good idea. How about the Moorhair Elves? You told me they're investigating the Bloodburn too, didn't you? Alright. It might be worth a try.